Some of you now have had exposure to Parish Virtual heading into its, uh, I guess this will be its third summer, uh, Parish Virtual summer. Uh, last year we went uh, from 46 students to 60 students earning credit toward graduation in one of these courses. Uh, health has been one of the drivers there, but we've seen kids also um, taking their world religion, their Bible course. This summer we'll be adding Bible. Um, so you've seen kids really stepping um, uh, into coursework there. Um, so we've uh, been over the last year able to um, add on the driver's ed course where the kids take the uh, coursework online and then had their driving experience here during a free period. So we've had a little hiccup with that in terms of our service provider who's um, uh, gone belly up. So we've had to put that program on hold for a little bit. But uh, in any event, the Summer Academy has been really a great success. But this last year, since I talked to you last spring, the big change has been how Parish Virtual has been informing uh, our under roof program during the school year, right? So, you know, what's happening in the world of education now, as you know, if you're paying attention, is these mocks, these massive online courses are coming out from the best universities throughout the country, right? And faculty are putting their, their courses out there, Coursera and Edu These folks are, are leveraging the inter, uh, intellectual resource uh, throughout the country and providing courses to kids globally, adults globally, on almost any topic they want, right? So we're very happy to have this, frame, uh, this framework of Paravirt Parish Virtual established. And looking ahead, this is going to become a very important component of our program because it's going to be our middleman. It's going to be, it's going to be what helps us angle and connect with the best of what's out there in online resource and bring it here to our kids. So for Kiana, sure, who's taking Japanese this year, we don't offer it, but she's taking it from the University of Alabama through Parish Virtual, right? And Tucker Davidson, the senior, is taking multivariable calculus from the gifted program at Stanford for, for high school kids because we don't have that post-calculus class. But Parish Virtual provides that for him. We have kids taking Mac OAC and some other courses because Parish Virtual creates, um, creates that, that connector for them with these online courses. So I think what, what's going to happen is, as the world of education is changing rapidly, like on the ground that we're standing right now, it's shifting, right? It's, the, it's, it's changing so quickly. Parish Virtual's influence programmatically for us is going to expand exponentially, um, I think, over the next uh, three to five years in terms of providing kids access to courses. And as we begin to look at our program in upper school and pushing them very hard to redesign the senior year, for example, uh, to take at least half of the senior year and puts kids into uh, longer uh, job experience endeavors off campus, longer service endeavors off campus, mandatory uh, blended course or online course through Parish Virtual. We're going to probably start there uh, with the seniors and work our way back. But I think we're going to be in a position where uh, if a kid wants or needs to take something, if we can through our guided independent study in upper school, angle them that way, uh, Parish Virtual will help us uh, to do that. So um, that's what you can look for in that space.